So again, with solving equations, we want to make sure that we follow the only rule, keep it balanced, and we want to use opposites to undo any calculations. We also want to try to group things together when we can. So here I want to multiply this out so I can see how many x's I have and how many ones I have. And that, that way I can group together my x's and ones. Okay, so I'm going to group this negative 6 and positive 4. I'm going to get rid of this x on this side, balance it on that side, get rid of a minus 2 with a plus 2, balance it on that side. Okay, so we end up with 1x on this side, and that's going to balance a negative 3, and that's my solution. Here I need to solve for x. Really, I need to undo this calculation. Okay, so I need to just find out that x by undoing this calculation. Well, again, I just undo plus minus with plus. Okay, so I end up with 2x minus 1 squared equals 9. Well, I can undo squares by square rooting. Now, I have to be really a little bit careful because squares and square roots aren't exactly perfect inverses of each other. So we have to be a, little bit, a little bit careful because the square root, so I'm going to do this, so square root like that, square root like that. Now the problem with this is, if I square root this, I get 3, and certainly this number in here could equal 3 squared equals 9. However, this number could also have been negative 3 squared, and that would still equal 9. So when I undo by square rooting, I have to be a little bit careful. And when I state this, the inside of the square root, well, this 2x minus 1 could be equal to 3, but it could also be equal to negative 3. So we have to be really careful of that. So I'm going to have to introduce a plus minus in here. So that inside 2x minus 3 could have been positive 3 to give me the 9, but it could also have been the negative 3 that gives me the 9. So once I do that, I now have two solutions I have to solve for. So I'm going to solve this 2x minus 1 equals 3 or 2x minus 1 equals negative 3. And I get a solution here of this is going to be negative 2. I get negative 1 is one solution. Here I get x equals 2 as my other solution. Okay, so here we're, we're, we undid the square with the square root, but when we undo squares, we have to be careful because we have to account for the fact that there could be two possibilities, two numbers, two different numbers squared that you could, that could give me the positive 9 there. Okay, so here we're going to solve this, but I don't like the fraction, the divide, so I'm going to get rid of that divide, but I have to be a bit careful when I get rid of that divide. So I'm going to get rid of divide by times. And I can get rid of that divide 3 here with the times, and I end up with 2x minus 1. And you have to be careful because we can't. there's a times here, and I can apply the times 3 here, or I can apply the times 3 inside the brackets, okay, and there and there. But I can't do both. It's got to be one or the other. So I applied it here times 3. 3 to the 1 third, and that got rid of the divide by 3. And I, that means I cannot multiply into the brackets. Okay, so that's very important. But I have to just make sure I distribute across plus. So I can't distribute across times, but I can distribute across plus. And I have to make sure that I distribute to all those parts. Every single piece has to get a times 3. Once I've done that, now I can combine like terms. And I have to decide which side I want the x on. Well, I think I want the x on this side to keep it positive. And that keeps me from having to remember to flip the, flip the inequality by dividing or multiplying by, by a negative number. So there's my zero pairs. There's my zero pairs. I end up with 23 is greater than... 1x. There represents my solution. Okay, so 23. There's 23, and I know it's got to be 
on this side of 23 because it's less than 23. Okay, and it's an open circle because it's not equal to x.